the best stand-up comedians make their jobs look effortless. They take the stage, they've got the audience roaring with laughter, but how much work really goes into a stand-up routine? Stop looking at me, Seth. <laughs> You're just like your eyes are boring into me. It's very hard to read with the Seth Meyers just looking at me there. How personal should the material be? That is what executive producer Seth Meyers and star Mike Birbiglia explore in the new documentary, Good One, a show about jokes along with the anxiety that comes with every new routine. You crushed that. Thank you. When a comedian puts a special out into the world, they are faced with a real sense of dread that that is the last hour of jokes they're ever going to write, and they should probably move on to a different career. Good evening, and welcome to, to the strange attic at the Columbus Theater, where Mike Birbiglia sometimes performs shows for some reason. Seth and Mike, good morning. Good morning. Oh, I so enjoyed this. This is on Peacock. It's just a documentary, and it's like, getting inside your minds and it's yes. really that's a very frightening place mike and seth well mike's one of my favorite minds to get into and oh, i thanks. feel like anyone who's been an audience in one of his shows can tell that it's very personal and that he's put a lot of time into the joke so it was really fun to uh, make a show about his process well it is do you know they always say like you don't want to know how the sausage is made but like this is about the sausage making of comedy it's an uncomfortable thing. I did a show uh, last year that was at Lincoln Center down the street called The Old Man in the Pool. And then when you finish a show like that, you don't have, as a comedian, you don't have anything. You have no jokes. Yeah, you have, no you have nothing else to give society. So without, <laughs> without jokes, you add no value to it. I mean, it's hard. You like, you, and you can't just keep telling the same ones. No, no, no because people have seen it. And so uh, it was one of these things where, where these guys and... Uh, approached me about the idea of filming the process of creating from scratch. And it, honestly, it was, like, very uncomfortable. Uh, it was very uncomfortable, like, talking, like, having people like see... You told me. This is the first time hearing <laughs> you that it made you uncomfortable. A documentary but I, but I loved, But I loved it. I loved how it turned out. Well, I was going to say, the documentary doesn't make you feel uncomfortable. It's actually... It's super fascinating. But, you know, so I think I read that, like, Seinfeld or somebody, he, he, he kind of believes, like, if you tell a joke once and it doesn't hit, that joke is dead. That is not your philosophy. You're like workshopping these jokes again and again. When do you give up on a joke? I, I, uh, I'm 10 to 15 tries. How about you? I mean, I think I'm five. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I will say, you know, and Mike has this wonderful podcast he does, and behind him, it's just a million note cards. Mm -hmm. And I feel like there are probably jokes that you're holding on to that didn't work 10 years ago that you feel like there's still probably a way to make it. Yeah, I think that's true. Yeah. yeah. Is it's there one you're like, you just can't give up, like you can't quit that joke, but it just never worked. Do you want to have it not work? Do you want to? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's, like, that's what I was getting like at. Never, do you want to have it not work for the largest audience? But yet? are we not an easy laugh? We'll be like, ah. You, yeah, you'll fake yes. it, and then everybody at home will be like, what the what? what is yeah, that? Yeah, yeah. Well, so you do a lot of stand up. Yeah. You've only done one comedy special. That's true. Which I think is a crime. Thank because you. Lobby Baby is one of my favorite so specials. Funny. It's Thank so you. darn good. So will you do another special? I will do, do another think? special, but let me just say, like, that's one of the reasons, one of the many reasons I'm in awe of Mike is Mike has done how many now? How many uh, hours? Five? Yeah. And so each one uh, better than the last. And so Aww. for me, you know, why I've waited so long is I don't want to have one that sort of doesn't match what standard I'd like to. I mean, that's it, right? But you have so much courage. You're out there. You're doing it. You're talking I'm a about. I'm a first responder. Yes. First responder. Second responder. Third responder. I'm not sure which responder but you I respond. am. Brave. You brave. respond. Very brave. Fierce. The, all and, these descriptors. And I think that Mike and I both have a, an incredible bravery because we do tell jokes about our families and then we have to go home to them. I know. I was going to say, but okay. So what is? You tell stories about your wife, your family. Yeah. And how does that? Could you run it by her? Well, my my wife is a poet. My brother Joe is a writing collaborator. My parents don't watch my act, so that all works out fine. Never? <laughs> they don't really. My parents will come if I let them. They'd come to every show. I mean, your, I'm not. It's not like who's your got parents, parents are the biggest Seth Meyers fans <laughs> they are on the really planet. Really well, really big you want Meyers. that? To, you want that? To, I'm sorry for yeah. your. No, 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 yeah, I should say they're also huge Perbigly fans. They came. They yeah, came they to Lincoln come Center. Come to yeah. And do they give? Do your parents give you feedback, or is it like one of those everything you do is great? No, deals. my dad. My dad, 100, percent will be like, I don't like that one. <laughs> so that's helpful because like he's giving you the tools to make it better. And what about uh, your wife, Alexa? Because I I know her a little bit. Does she like it when you put her in the routine? She's okay at times. Yeah. She realizes um, 
she realizes content is king. Yes. Uh, but she has said, uh, which tells you the most you could ever know about her, I don't care how mean you make me sound in your act as long as I'm always right. <laughs> okay, fair. Yeah. You know what? Fair. That's fair? Yeah. 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 All right, so you're telling the truth, in other words. Pretty She's much. Right. I, look, I've never told a story on stage that I made up. Right. You know, that would be the thing that I always try to... You don't impress upon her. Yes. You know, yes. If you don't want me to tell a story like this, maybe don't provide it. Don't yes. do that. Yeah, thing. yeah maybe yes. don't do that. Okay. Thing. Seth and Mike, thank you so much. It's really fun. You're back in our fourth hour. We're gonna yeah. get you a mug. And that. No, 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 no. This look is. Look at Seth branding. We're just. I don't know if you've done the ten o'clock hour. That's that. Oh yeah. Oh, oh. this was fine. Yes. But that's. Try, you know what? Try that joke out, the one that hasn't oh, been working. Yes. You have two hours to work on it. <laughs> Good one is available to stream right now on Peacock, and you can catch Late Night with Seth Meyers weeknights on NBC at 1235, 1135 oh, wow. Central. Sharp you know, ever. it streams on Peacock as well. Yeah. We're back with Pop Star, but first, this is Today on NBC. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.